Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Coding Hives. So today we are going to solve lead code problem number 136 that is single number. So here the problem is given a non-empty array of integers nouns, every element appears twice except for one. We need to find that single unique element. Okay. So here it is mentioned that we must implement a solution with a linear runtime complexity order of n time complexity and we should use only constant extra space. That means order of 1 space complexity. Okay. So here in this example 1, the input is 2 to 1 and the output is 1. That means 1 appears only one time, right? And in the second example, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is the input array and the output is 4. The remaining elements appears two times, right? And the last example, the number 1 itself is the answer. That means there is only one element in the list, okay? So, we can solve this problem in several ways. So, we can implement a brute force approach. The problem is the time complexity of brute force approach will be order of n square. And we can also try using a hash map. But uh, in that case, the problem is we are using some extra memory, right? Just mentioning as we cannot use any extra space. So, that is also not a preferred solution. So, we are implementing a solution using some bit manipulation tricks such as XOR. So that we will achieve as they mentioned, like we can get uh, order of n time complexity and order of 1 space complexity. So this is our input array and here you know the output is 4, right? So how we can implement this problem using XO that I am going to tell here. We are XORing 0 with 0, the answer will be 0 and 0 with 1, the answer will be 1. 1 with 0, the answer will be 1. If the both the numbers are same, then the output will be 0. That is the logic, okay? If both the bits are same, then the output will be 0. Both are different, then only the output is 1. So, that is the logic in XOR. Also, you need to understand that if you are XORing a number, for example, A with a 0, any number, then the answer will be A itself. Also, another property is if you are XORing a number with itself, that is also 0. A XOR 0 is A and A XOR A is 0. So, here how we are uh, going to implement the problem is, if we XOR all the numbers together, the pairs will be cancelled out, right? 2 and 2 will be 0 and 1 and 1 will be 0. So, 4 XOR 0 is answer will be 4, right? So, that is the logic we are going to implement in this problem, okay? We'll take a variable to store the result as 0, okay? And then we are going to just XOR. The symbol for XOR is this symbol. XOR each number. I mean 0 XOR 4. 0 XOR 4 we know. XORing a number with a 0 will get the number itself, right? So that is 4. Now we will take the result. I mean the 4 here. And we will XOR this 4 with the next number. So the next number is 1, right? So we will XOR 4 XOR 1. So 4 XOR 1 is uh, something like 4, the binary representation of 4 is uh, 0, uh, 0, 0. This, and 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1, right? 2 raised to 0. So, XOR I told 0, XOR 1 is 1, 0, XOR 0 is 0, 1, XOR 0 is 1, 0, XOR 0 is 0, right? So, this is answer is 2 raised to uh, 0, 1, 2, 2 raised to 2 plus 0 raised to 0, that is 5 okay so now we got 5 now we will take this 5 then xor that with the next number so here the next number is 2 right 5 xor 2 so we will make a binary representation number 2 so that is uh, 0 0 1 0 right now we will do this xor again 1 0 xor 0 that is 1 0 xor is 1 this is also 1 this is 0 so, this is binary representation of 2 raise to uh, 0 plus 2 raise to 1 plus 2 raise to 2, right? So, 4 plus 2 plus 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7, right? So, we got 7 now, okay? Now, we will take this 7. Then, we will XOR this with the next number. That is 1, right? So, we will write binary of 1. That is 0, 0, 0. This is 1, okay? Now we will XOR this, this is 0, this is 1 and this is 0, okay. So here that means 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2, right, that is 5, clear. Now we will 
uh, take this 5 then XOR this 5 with the last number that is 2 right so we will take 2 binary representation of 2 I mean so that is 0 0 1 0 right so we will XOR this 0 XOR 0 is 0 1 XOR 1 is 0 this is 1 this is 0 that means 2 raise 2 that is our answer right that is our answer this is our answer 4 right here we got number 4 as our answer okay so in this case we are not using any extra space because of that the space complexity will be order of 1 and the time complexity will be order of n only cell that is equal to 0 then I can write for num in nums we will write a result uh, XOR result XOR equal to now that means result equal to result x or now okay then we can simply uh, return this result right just to return this result run submit so we got the output right so that's it for today's video i hope you got a clarity about how this works 